news. The uh, Port Clinton Art Festival is this week and it's grown a lot since its first show some 38 years ago. It is now considered one of the top art festivals in the nation. Marcella Raymond joins us at Highland Park. And I use recycled paint chips to make pixel art. You might not know exactly what it is with the naked eye, but see it through your phone and it all becomes clear. So the phone changes your focal depth and kind of pushes you away from the piece, shows what it looks like from further away. So each person kind of sees it differently based on distance, vision, and then gestalt psychology. There are a lot of interactive works of art at the Port Clinton Art Festival in Highland Park. Last year, when everyone was stuck at home, Carla Bank didn't have much to do except paint. She had a lot of leftover paint, and what she started to do is make these constructions using her paint, these striped pieces, and gluing them onto a canvas, and she calls them mermaid, mermaid tails. 200 juried artists, invitation only, and artists from all over the country. J.J. Johansson used to play with one-inch figurines like this when he was a boy in Denmark. Now he uses them in his art. It's unique and funny. My art is it's basically uh, macro photography, so I use a macro lens to actually photograph these little people about half a couple of inches away, and I try and make humorous art, basically. A little close encounter, anyone? I never get tired of people in my booth laughing. The Port Clinton Art Festival is so diverse and so colorful, it just makes you happy walking around. It's definitely great eye candy. If you're looking for something unique, come out tomorrow on Sunday from 10 to 6. In Highland Park, Marcella Raymond, WGN News.